An SC-253 production by Sarah Day, Krista Sirth, and Kateri Molinaro. Atlanto-axial joint instability. Atlanto-axial instability can be caused and associated with a number of different things to include Down syndrome, rheumatoid arthritis, disassociation of the odontoid process, dens of the axis. Atlas fractures and transverse ligament fractures. Today we will be focusing on cervical associated rheumatoid arthritis and how it affects the atlantoaxial joint. But first, let's get some basics down about the atlantoaxial joint. Pictured here, you can see the occipital bone, which is located at the base of your skull. Just below that is your first cervical vertebrae, your atlas, and your second cervical vertebrae, your axis. Also shown is your spinal cord and your vertebral artery off to the sides. The atlantoaxial joint is comprised of three synovial joints. This is the anterior view showing two plane joints located on either side of the vertebrae at the facets providing a slipping motion and the pivot joint which provides a guiding rotational motion located at the dens of the axis which is C2, and the facet for dens of the atlas, which is C1. The atlantoaxial joint is the joint in your spine which contributes to the largest amount of rotation. Here you can see Krista demonstrating the posterior view of the atlantoaxial joint action. The left and right rotation of your head is located between the atlas and the axis vertebrae. There are eight main muscles contributing to the atlantoaxial joint. Rectus capitis minor, rectus capitis major, obliquus capitis superior, and obliquus capitis inferior. These muscles are pairs which are reflected on either side of the spine. All of the muscles are nerviated by the dorsal ramus of C1. Our feline subject in the lab is demonstrating the posterior view of the spine at the base of the occipital bone. The muscles of our joint are deep to several layers of muscles to include the outermost trapezius muscle, semispinalis capitis, and splenus capitis. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease causing irritation and destruction to synovial joints, further causing erosion of joints and ligaments. Mainly affecting articular capsules, rheumatoid arthritis has also been shown to cause damage to the apical, alar, and transverse ligaments. Cervical-associated rheumatoid arthritis has an array of symptoms. Muscle fatigue coupled with mild to severe neck pain can be associated with the overworking of the joint making up for the instability. Damage to the ligaments and capsules cause an over-exaggerated movement between the atlas and the axis vertebrae. This can also affect the vertebral artery causing migraines. Another symptom is spinal cord compression from subluxation and inflammation. Neurologic abnormalities can be caused resulting in weakness, numbness, bowel, bladder dysfunction, and a decreased function in the limbs. Common treatments include non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, steroids, disease-modifying anti-rheumeric drugs, and protein A immunoabsorption therapy. Surgical options are also highly considered. The atlantoaxial joint and cervical-associated rheumatoid arthritis are prime factors for discomfort and potential serious side effects. A complicated joint with a significant amount of synovial fluid leaves this joint at risk for rheumatoid arthritis. This is the completion of our SC-253 production.